Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. This time we are going to talk about a valve construction, a valve working principle, how it is used very often, very often. Yeah, we're talking about a sliding valve. We're talking about a sliding valve of a piston. Yeah? How a sliding valve of a piston is constructed, I want to show you. Yeah? I again have drawn this principle here in my 3D CAD system. And you can already see, this is the valve from the outside and it looks already pretty promising and not boring at all. Yeah, so let's look. Well, it looks like a box, right? Yeah. Where are the connect? At the bottom. At the bottom there are the connections. Yeah. Let's see what is inside, I would suggest. Yeah. So let's let's open this, let's slice this open. And then it already looks a little bit more sophisticated. Yeah, you yeah, can see there is a there are a hole through this through this valve, there is specially formed there, there are some there are some uh, connections, yeah. I have even numbered this one, two, three, four, five in order to to let you know. And there is a there is a piston, and this piston can move to the left and to the right. You see, this is what the piston is doing. Yeah? Let's see what it means. Yeah? So these are the two extreme values. Let's start here. Yeah? Let's have a look at the connector number one. What is now done with this? Yeah? So let's zoom in a little bit. Connector number one yeah? is connected to this area here. Here on the left hand side, the piston is sealing. Yeah? So from one to four, there's no connection. But from one to two, I can pass simply so one and two are connected to each other. Okay. Let's see what is in three. Three is sealed on the left side, is sealed on the right side, nothing. Three is sealed. What is happening at four? Four is sealed here between one and four is sealed. We had already covered this. And partition between four and five, it's open. So four and five are connected now to each other. Okay. If we move the piston to the other side, Hook. Right now, uh, in the middle position, all five is sealed to the right and to the left. One is sealed, four is sealed, two is sealed, three is sealed. Everything is sealed without overlapping. Okay, this switching is without overlapping. And then, pack going to the other extreme. Now let's see. One is now connected to four. Uh, five is sealed. Two is connected to three. Uh, and how is it operated? Well, there is the 1-4 pressure line and there's the 1-2 pressure line. If we apply pressure here at the 1-4 line, yeah, this will be moved in this direction with this piston here. And if we apply pressure here at the 1-2 line, this will be moved in this direction with this, with this piston here. Yeah. So these are the two pistons. Yeah. So actually, this is how this looks like. One position, yeah. Puck, other position, yeah. And now, what could happen is that you don't have pressure and you want to bring this valve into a certain position. Then there is the possibility of hand operation. Then it looks like this. Yeah? So there are little, little hand operated things there. Huh? So you see, you can push it to the left and to the right. Huh? You can push it to the left and to the right. Uh, what this means, if there is then again coming pressure, then the pressure will be applied here and this pack will be moved outside. Huh? Will be moved outside. Also here, this will also be pack, will also be moved outside. So now we have pressure help operation. Yeah? Potential potential operating by hand. However, you know, if pressure is applied, if pressure is applied, I can press with my hands whatever I want. Yeah? I will not have enough power in my fingertips to push this, this valve. Yeah? 
because the areas here are simply that big that I, I have no chance against the pneumatic system. Okay. However, you see the difference is pretty minor. So this is with hand operation and this was without hand operation. Huh? Oh, see? Not much difference, huh? right? It's just the, the hose and the little little rods. Huh? Let's come to, to the variants where we want to talk about uh, the, the symbols. Okay? I will draw the symbols of both of these valves. Okay? So we identified this as 5 2 way valve. Huh? So we have two switching, switching positions. Two switching positions. One was connected to two. Huh? So here is two, here is one. Huh? Four was connected to five. Here is five. Yeah, here is four, and three was simply blocked. Yeah. We had it both sides automat uh, pneumatically operated. Yeah. So this was the one-two line, yeah. and the other line was connecting one with four. Yeah. So this means the other variant looked like this. This was simply the operation, yeah? Pneumatically operated, one position, one was connected with two, four is exhausted to five, and one is, second position, one is connected to four, and two is exhausted to three. Yeah? So this is the symbol without this, this mechanical stuff. Yeah? If we have this mechanical stuff as well, we can simply extend the symbol here at the bot at the top yeah, with a second type of operation. Yeah. Now it's the second variant. Yeah. So now I have additionally to my pneumatic operation, I have additionally a manual operation for emergency cases, something like this. Yeah. So and this here indicates already this is not the main form of operation. Okay. This is just some helping, helping button yeah. for commissioning or whatever. Okay, so very, very usual form of, of, of valve construction, the sliding valves. Yeah. Also in, in hydraulic, pretty much I would even say this is the standard variant. Yeah. Sliding valve. Yeah. Next time, we're again talking about a pretty similar approach. Yeah? By the way, this is an impulse valve. Yeah? This was an impulse valve. This means if I release the pressure on one, two, this will stay in the position where it is switched. Yeah? I don't have to put on pressure all the time to one, two or one, four. It will stay there. Yeah? Impulse. Impulse controllable. If there is only a pressure peak and pressure impulse, it will switch yeah? and then stays there. Impulse valve. Just I wanted to tell you, yeah? but luckily next time we are also talking about the impulse valve. Yeah? So I remembered and I... <laughs> okay, so next time impulse valve, however, with a poppet valve. And you will see also poppet valve can look pretty similar to this approach. Yeah, yeah how this is working? going to show you next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.